This lesson overviews how to capture, backup, and restore site settings. Restores are typically required after a server has been replaced in the site or when setting up several independent sites that are similar. After completing this lesson, you will be able to backup and restore site settings. This feature is available in these editions of ACC software. To access the backup settings in the ACC software, click here. Then, click here. Click the highlighted button to access backup settings. In the following dialog box, select the server you want to backup from the drop-down list. The site settings are automatically included in the backup file. If you want to encrypt the file, check this checkbox, then enter a password. It is highly recommended that you enable the encryption option because the settings file may contain sensitive information. The password will be required when the backup file is used to restore the system settings. If you lose the encryption password, you can no longer use the file. Click here to save the settings. In the dialog box, name and save the file. The backup file is saved in the Vigilon file format. Note, backup files can be restored to servers that are running the same or a more recent version of the Vigilon Control Center server software. Restore is typically required after a server has been replaced in the site or when setting up several independent sites that require similar settings. Make sure the new server has at least the same number of licenses and types of licenses as the server that generated the backup file. If not, you will lose access to features that were included in the backup file but are not supported by the new server. When you restore the server settings, all existing settings are overwritten by the restored settings. When you restore the site settings, the restored settings are merged with any existing settings. Open a new task menu by clicking the highlighted button. Click here to access the restore settings. In the following dialog box, find and select the file that you want to restore. Then, click the highlighted button. If the backup file is encrypted, enter the required password in the dialog box. You will not be asked to provide a password if the file is not encrypted. Select the settings you want to restore. By default, the system selects the recommended option for you. Note that files from version 4 of the application are not compatible with this version of the ACC client software. Select this option to restore all settings in the site and the selected server. This type of restore is most useful when replacing a single server site. Note, if the server is part of a multi-server site, do not select this option because the settings are maintained by the other connected servers. Select this option to restore all settings to the selected server. This type of restore typically applies to a multi-server site. Select this option to specify the settings that you want to restore. When selecting the custom settings, some settings have dependencies that may cause unexpected issues if they are not supported by the server. Select the server for which you want to restore the settings. It's recommended that you only select servers in the highlighted drop-down list. Servers in this list do not have any existing device connections. Restoring settings to a server that is not in this list may overwrite existing device connection details or cause the system to exceed its license and processing limits. Once you've chosen your option, click the highlighted button. If you restore the site settings, the settings are merged. Any unique settings are added to the site. If the settings are identical, only the current site version is kept. If the import setting and the site setting have the same name but are configured differently, the import setting is added to the site and renamed in the format highlighted. User groups and their permissions are merged. If groups have the same name, the import settings are used and the users from both the import file and the current site are added to the group. If the site supports new permissions not available in the import file, the new permissions are disabled by default from the imported group. Default group settings will use the default site settings for permissions not available in the import file. Groups added from the import file automatically gain access to all the new devices that were added since the settings were exported. Users with the same name will use the import settings, including passwords. To sum up, in this lesson, you learn how to capture, backup, and restore site settings. Restores are typically required after a server has been replaced in the site or when setting up several independent sites that are similar.